Hi everybody, Chi Please Chic. Welcome back to my channel. For those of you who are new, welcome. I'm so glad you're here. So today I am finally going to play in my sword journal. I'm so excited. Everybody is quiet. I'm the only one home this afternoon. Ah, oh, it's just fabulous. And the weather is perfect. The windows are open. It's just beautiful. So I'm very, very excited to play in this collection. I am loving the colors. You guys know I love blue. It's in everything, <laughs> everything in my channel. Oh, so many thumbnails, so many planner videos, everything. I have so much blue. So I'm very excited to play with this and these colors today. For those of you who purchased my collection, thank you, thank you so very much. I had such wonderful feedback and such excitement that has built around this and I am just so bl very blessed and so excited. Thank you so much, everybody. I hope that you enjoyed this series of videos and I hope that they inspire you as well. For those of you who might be interested in checking out the SOAR collection or even a few April Dreamer collections that are still left in my Etsy shop, there will be a link down below. So go ahead and check those out if you're interested along with videos where I share what's in the collection. So that will be down below. Now let's get started. I'm not exactly sure what I'm going to do, but I really like setting up the journal a little bit. Before I dive in and um, start some layouts, I just feel like putting it together is something kind of fun too. So I think that's what I'm gonna do first. There's not as much to set up this time, ahead of time anyway, so I'm probably gonna do a layout at the end of this video as well. We'll see how much time it really takes me because sometimes I underestimate things. So I think this is the little bag that has the little hearts. I love putting the little hearts on my strings. I was halfway wondering if these little birds could go on here, but I think they're going the wrong direction. Uh -huh, maybe, maybe they could. That one's white. I would have to use a different bird, but, and they're like thin. I think the wings might get beat up a little bit. I don't know, maybe I'm gonna do these birds now it is a dangerous touch because of those little wings. The potential of them <laughs> getting beat up is high. Maybe I'll do two birds and a heart on the other string. Okay, like usual, I mentioned, I know some of you have heard this so many times that this Fabri-Tac glue is my favorite, but it really is. I love that it is a quick set glue course it's bubbling out the top here which is way too much for my little bird it's a quick set glue and it's acetone based so it doesn't wrinkle any paper when you're using it in your journal and I love that about it how to get a baby wipe here of course messing around with that acetone glue will also ruin your nail polish so be careful with that I'm struggling with this glue it's almost empty and I have learned that if you get some pure acetone and add a little bit to the bottom of these glue bottles, it helps that thickened glue loosen back up again and you can use the rest of your glue. So that's what I'm gonna have to do to that guy. And I am sorry if you can hear the barking dog out my back window. That <laughs> stresses me out so much. I know that neighbors don't know that I'm in here trying to work and film my videos, but that's just what dogs do. They bark, and I have to learn to live with that. <laughs> anyway, super cute. I like that. Okay, let me bring it up a little closer here. So that did work out, and it did kind of thicken up the bird tips just a little bit. Maybe if I go through later when I'm done working on my journal and add maybe some embossing powder or even some glossy accents would help stiffen that bird up so it wouldn't beat up, get beat up. So I think I'm going to shorten this string a little bit more. These are the worst scissors ever. And that way the heart and the bird are at different levels. All right. The 
this is kind of the toughest part. <laughs> These tiny little hearts and my big fat fingers. There. I like that and maybe I will emboss those at the end of the video to just kind of give them a little bit of reinforcement since they're outside of the journal. But look at that. Oh my gosh, I love that. Okay, so then there's a lot of other little birds and hearts that I can use in my journal. These bags that are in the collection, I love them for inside of the journal. I think that makes a great ticket tuck spot. Thought that was a fun size. And of course, these little tiny glassine bags, I love them to pieces. So I love throwing those in. I probably always will because they're so much fun and they're awesome. These are cigarette cards. I mentioned it before. They're a vintage cigarette card and they're from the 1940s. So I love them so, so much. They have beautiful images on here. So I can't wait to play with that. And I love throwing in some tickets because these are always great to use. These are red cabbage dyed and not tea dyed this time. So that has a nice blue color. Of course, the vintage playing card that is super cute. Those will all be great in a layout. Then some little lace. And I mentioned it before that I put the bookmark together this time because the beads worry me. Like I would hate to send somebody a bead that wouldn't thread. That freaks me out. If that ever happens to you, please let me know <laughs> because I need to make that right. But anyway, so I threaded the bookmark this time and I love those colors, as you guys know. So I think I will string together these bookmark paper clips so I can see what they look like. I'm excited to see all these little fibers poking out of the book. Should I string the two of the same together or two different ones? I think I'm going to do the different one of each color. And then I know everybody pretty much probably knows how to string a paper clip, but if you fold it in half, oops, fold it in half so you have a little loop and then put that loop through the paper clip, then you have this and then you can put those ends into your loop and tie a little knot. And sometimes these don't like to stay depending on the material the fiber is used from. So if they cause a problem, I just add a little dab of glue or some hot glue or something. And then you can pick whatever length you want on your paper clips. I don't know, I think I'm just loving the extra, at least so far. I'm not gonna trim any of that off right now. I'm gonna see, see what happens. Okay, so I'm gonna put these two together. I have this little gold binder clip. Maybe I will put one on the binder clip. I really like the binder clips in journals too. Just a different texture. All right. And I think I am gonna trim this one a little shorter. Just put these in here to get an idea. Well, maybe I don't want that string on there. So I forgot the whole point of a binder clip is to close it. No, I like that. Okay. And then I will add this to this little paper clip. This one might have to get trimmed a little shorter. Just a little bit. There. And of course, you can trim yours a lot shorter than that. And who knows, I might end up doing that later. So there's that. Oh, there's a piece of lace, I forgot. 
And this is one of my favorite laces too. Okay, I'll knot that. This is one that might need a touch of glue. Just stick this one back here for now. Much better. <laughs> now all the pieces are there. Okay, so we have our little bags. For later, you could always use that if you wanted a junkier journal. What's in here? I might put that tag together. Bag, a little note card, and then just some die cuts. I'm very excited to play with those. In the journal, I have a couple ideas. And papers and book pages. Okay, let's see. I was thinking this would make, I didn't want to cut it short in the kits, but I'm thinking this will make a good overlay on this tag. And I really like that extra wet spot there. So I'm going to make sure to use that part. And let's see, do I have to cut my paper too? Seven inches. going to glue that on there for now. I also want to mention I have some super sweet friends that did unboxing videos for me and I am going to link their channels in the description box down below too. I would love it for you guys to go check them out. They are all amazing women and I have known them all for quite some time now. YouTube is an amazing place to connect with people, isn't it? Oh my gosh, I just love the friends that I've made here. So many of you, and I just feel so very blessed. So I want you to go check out their videos, check out their channel, tell them that I sent you over there, share some love with them. If you don't already know them, you will love them too. They're amazing. So I will link their channels down below. There. I like that. I love that heart paper and I love that blue color. I don't know if it comes across like it does in real life, but that's an amazing dyed color. I think I'm going to save this for the page, a page, before I take any off, but that would be really pretty ruffled and glued or stitched on there too. Okay, so that's pretty much all of the pieces to put together. I will probably speed things up a little bit and do a layout since I feel like I'm just getting started <laughs> and connect it with this video. So yeah, let's just get into it. All right, so I have these pictures from a recent trip I took. I shared with you guys the last month that I had gone down to Kansas City to a women's conference there. We had a wonderful time. It was about an eight and a half hour trip if we would have driven straight through, so that's kind of crazy. And of course, it was way too short. But it was an awesome experience. I'm so glad we went, and I'm so thankful to my wonderful friend who drove us there. Yes. So I just wanted to document that in my journal this month. The first idea I had was to use our full sheet of music to create a flip out and a pocket. So that's what I'm doing here. The length of the journal top to bottom is eight and a quarter inches. And then I just played around and guessed at the size horizontally. So I don't have any measurements for that. You can see how I just folded about two inches over on the back side. I'm working on to create a pocket for a different spread in a future date. And then I just eyeballed the music staffs on the sheet, the lines to see where would be a good place to cut. So maybe it was about three and a half to four inches to make the little flap page on the front. Then I'm just going to add some glue to the pocket side of my flip here. Remember that you want it to be an open pocket so you're gonna add glue to the top and bottom and then if you're doing the same page as me, the right hand side of the pocket page and then your flip will still be open and closed. Don't add glue <laughs> to the flip side of the page. That would be a problem. Thank you. 
Oh my goodness, this was a complete surprise. I was so happy when I discovered this. Now, it may not happen for some of you, but it should because everybody's tags are the same size, but I totally didn't plan for this tag to fit so perfectly inside this larger glassine envelope. What? Like, it looks like I planned it, but you guys, seriously, no, it was an accident. <laughs> so I was dying. I had to go for it, right? Like, of course, this has to happen now. So I'm just adding some glue to the outside of the back side of the glassine bag in the bottom to make a little extra tuck spot. I have some items that I kept from the conference that I'll probably tuck into this page later. Did you see that? Did you see that the little graph index card fit perfectly too? So FYI, whatever you might want to use that bag for, love it. And then I'm planning on going back and doing my journaling about this trip on the tag that I've included and if I have anything more to say because I can be kind of long-winded in my journaling I'll just tuck a note in here with this tuck spot So I decided to use this piece of lace on my page instead of my paper clip I feel like it just needs something to spice this page up a bit So I decided to fussy cut one of these little bird nests out to decorate my page with. I kind of hate fussy cutting. I just don't have the patience for it. So I end up keeping it basic and cutting off the little frilly parts in the end. Also, when I glue it down, I decide to just glue the bottom portion and make a little tuck spot out of it. I decided to add my last picture to this piece of thesaurus paper that I had in my kit and I just like the extra dimension, the words, the white paper against the cream colored paper. I like the way it makes the picture pop off the page. I really tried to keep that little cut out of the paper attached, but it just wasn't going to fit, so it had to go. So I'm going to add this card and then I think I'm done you guys. I'll do my journaling separately. So yes, please don't forget to go visit my friend's channel. Check out their unboxing videos. They all had some sweet ideas and I loved their thoughts on the collection too. So go check them out. They're wonderful women. If you're not part of their channel, you will want to become one. So check out their links. If you're interested on getting your hands on a sword collection, I still have a few in my shop. So that link will be down below as well. I hope that you found this video inspiring if you already had a collection and I hope that it eggs you on to play in your journal a little bit too. Please don't forget to hit that like button. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and hey follow me over on Instagram. I would love to be friends there. My name is cheaply underscore chic underscore and yeah I think that's about it. So I hope you guys have an awesome day and thanks again for watching. See you next time. Bye.